Hey everybody, Ryan from Tweak My Device. I want to show you a video about Dropbox. I'm sure a lot of you already use it. I've been using it for a little while. It's a great cloud server to have to create your own links and you don't have to pay for it. It's a free service. Dropbox is available for many different devices. Your home PC, laptops, netbooks, tablets, your smartphone. It's a very easy way to sync all of your files across multiple devices and always have access to your files. Even if you lose one of your devices, you can still access all of your content just through the Dropbox website. Now let's take a look at installing Dropbox on our little Asus netbook running Windows 7 Ultimate. Just navigate to Dropbox.com in the web browser and click to download Dropbox. You want to save this file. Once the Dropbox installer is on your PC, I always scan items I download for viruses, even if they're from reputable sites. And this one's good. No threats, as expected. Just proceed through the setup prompts. If you need to create a Dropbox account, you can do so here. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Here you can select your desired capacity. Two gigs is free, and there are ways to add some capacity to that. 50 gigs or 100 gigs for a monthly fee. Just do the typical installation. Now I've previously had Dropbox installed on this netbook, but I had uninstalled it. So this installation has detected my previous folder, and I'm going to go ahead and merge them together. Let's skip the tour unless you really want to see that. You should get a message that you're linked to Dropbox, and then it'll take a little while, but your folders will sync and get the information from your main Dropbox folder server. And as we click into it, it's starting to get some things in there. When these little blue icons are green, that means everything is synced. Down here in our system tray, you'll notice that you can get a little status message from Dropbox. See again, the circle is blue. When it's green, everything is synced and good to go. But if you right click on that, you get some options. I'm using about a third of my 2.8 gigabyte limit and you see I've gotten some extra storage. You can launch Dropbox website from here, change all of your preferences, but really just to install it and use it, it works great. Open the Dropbox folder that way and some things are already getting the green sync mark that they're good to go. Let's say you want to share a photo album with somebody, right click on it, Use the Dropbox link and share this folder. Once you log in to your Dropbox site, just enter someone's email address that you'd like to share the folder with. You can send a personal message. And share the folder. It's as easy as that. It's just as easy using Dropbox on your desktop. Down here in your system tray, Find the Dropbox icon, right click it, open your folder, and let's say I want to add an application into my Dropbox folder where I can then share with anyone through email or text message. So I'm going to right click and copy this from my computer. Go in here to the public folder. You can choose any folder. You can make new folders if you like. Create a new folder customize it any way you like. I'm just going to put it in this one, right click and paste. You'll see the icon will be blue for just a second. And once it's synced to my Dropbox server, it will turn green and will be available to all of my devices. There it's green. All you need to do is visit your mobile app store. For Android, of course, it's the market. Search for Dropbox. 
there you have it. Once it's installed, I can look into my public folder, and here's the YouTube stars that I just uploaded. I can open it, I can download it to install it, share with others. Let's go ahead and share with others. Copy a link to put into an article or document that you're typing. Share a link. to get options for sharing. Let's say I want to text this to someone. Here we have the Dropbox link. They can download it straight from their text message app. It's super easy. There it goes. You can also choose to share the file. If the file is not already on your device, it will download it and allow you to attach it several different ways. We can send it in an email to someone. and there's the attachment and you share the file. To download this to your device or any other file or picture, there it is. You can choose to install it. Open it and there's your app you just got from Dropbox. And Dropbox is just as easy to use on Apple and iOS devices. You can see we have all our folders, public, you can go into Android, tap on something to download it, you can email a link or copy the link to your clipboard to paste it somewhere. Okay guys, this has been a fairly simplistic demonstration of how to use and install Dropbox. I hope you find it useful. Happy tweaking and subscribe to Tweak My Device on YouTube.